Today I'm sharing my top five digital products that you can create using Adobe InDesign and how to market and sell those online. I'm super excited to be doing this video in collaboration with my friend Jessica Stansbury. Jessica is an influencer, a YouTuber, a podcaster, and a business coach. Jessica helps people mainly through her signature program, Vidfluential, where she helps businesses and online entrepreneurs to create more of an impact with video. In this collaboration, I will be sharing on this video my top five digital downloads that you can make using Adobe InDesign. And then on Jessica's channel, you'll want to watch that right afterwards and she will be sharing her top five tips on how to market and sell those digital downloads. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I do unboxings on Saturday. Now, before we jump into the list, the first two questions you might have are why digital downloads and why not digital products? Now, digital products can encompass so many different things like software as a solution, or it can encompass a online course. And I really wanted to limit this to digital downloads because I think that that is going to be a quicker way for you to create a product that can start making money for you right away. It's an excellent tripwire, it is an excellent upsell and you know if you're not familiar with those terms uh just google them they're just basically ways for you to make some extra income on to say a core product so not all of these digital downloads have to be standalone they could be in addition and to a course or to something else or as a way for you to create extra income from an existing product the second question might be why Adobe InDesign? And the reason I love Adobe InDesign and think it's so versatile and probably the best application in the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite is because Adobe InDesign is a page layout software, meaning it can help you create magazines, newspapers, all of those amazing layouts that you see that look just beautiful and are very impressive. And I know that people are using Canva um, or Microsoft Word and I 100% think those are inferior to what you can do with Adobe InDesign, especially if you're asking people to one, pay for those digital downloads and two, you're trying to wow and impress them. So let's jump into the list. The first thing is eBooks or magazines. And these are simply a beautiful way, like I said, to lay out all of your information that is both entertaining easier for people to understand because remember both comprehension and retention of information in a pretty format for lack of a better words is always significantly higher than when it is plain text the other great advantage with adobe indesign is you can make your ebooks interactive so a lot of the times when you think about children's books and i'm talking maybe five, six, seven years old, those books are interactive, meaning they have pictures in them, they have animation, they have video, they have sound, and the books are almost like a website in and of themselves. And I promise any beautiful magazine layout that you've ever seen was 99.9% .9 of the time created in Adobe InDesign. Number two is planners. Now you can make planners that are digital only or you can make planners that are printable. Three are workbooks or journals, anything where people are putting information in because this is a study guide, let's say, or a self-help book, prompting them with questions. A workbook or journal is the perfect format. And just like planners, these can be digital only, you know, where you use it on your iPad Pro or on your computer and you're typing your answers in, or it can be a printable where someone is going to write their answers. Number four are InDesign templates, which is what I create. And those are simply giving other designers the ability to get a head start on what they want to create and they can edit my designs without having to start with a blank page. And number five is what I call bespoke. And that is simply a British term, I believe, for customization. So you can create beautiful wedding invitations, but obviously if you use the names John and Mary, not everybody is named John and Mary 
So you can customize those designs with their information, their date, and the, the details of their wedding. There are a ton of things you can make bespoke, but just thinking about the wedding industry alone, you can make accessories, you can make thank you cards, you can make place cards, you can create menus, because who doesn't want a beautiful wedding? And a lot of weddings these days are trending to be branded just like a website or a business so that everything is matching. And if you can offer an entire suite of wedding printables that you can customize for somebody's wedding and they don't need to use, learn how to use InDesign, just you do, and then you can send them PDFs they can print at home or take to a professional printer. All right, so let's recap that list. First, we said eBooks are magazines. Second, we said planners. Third, we said journals or workbooks. Fourth, we said InDesign templates. And fifth, we said Bespoke. All right, if you want to learn how to market and sell any of those products, make sure to go over to Jessica's channel and I will leave that link in the description below. She will be sharing with you her best tips on, on how to make money creating all of those great digital downloads. All right, I hope you guys found that helpful and I will see you guys next week. Bye.